What is going on guys? Welcome to the Minecraft News Network. I'm your host Almost Average and since this is the first episode let me explain exactly what is going on and why I'm doing this. It's always been super important to me to stay informed on world news and I know that can be super hard to keep up all the time so I decided to start a Minecraft News Network where I will help you guys stay up to date on news from all around the world. I'll try to keep each story straight and to the point and leave out my own bias as much as possible. Uh, so you guys can form your own opinions on the articles. I'm also going to try and start and end each episode with good news because I know it can be hard to stay positive with a lot of negative news all the time. The way I'll be doing this is I'll be doing different categories, uh, usually by continent or country. And then I'll do a gaming and tech category uh, just because I know a lot of people that would be watching this channel are probably interested in that. I'm going to start this series with one video a week, and if you guys like it, we can decide to make more episodes later on. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's your news for the last week. The first good news this week is senators in the United States have forged a plan to phase out hydrofluorocarbons, which is a refrigerant gas used in AC units and refrigerators across the country. It's an extremely harmful greenhouse gas and terrible for the environment, and senators in a rare bipartisan move have actually agreed to phase it out over the next uh, few years. Our first category this week is going to be the EU and the UK. The European Union is seeing record high new daily cases currently, with Spain, France, and the UK with the most new daily cases. Cities across France are putting new restrictions on restaurants and bars to try to limit the spread of the coronavirus. In other news, Marseille officials have just announced that they will be welcoming a boat of migrants currently heading towards France. In Australia this week, great news for the aboriginals in Australia as after finally getting hiking restrictions on Uluru earlier this year, Google has also taken down their virtual street view of it as well in order to protect the history and wishes of the aboriginals. A lot of news in Africa this week as early in the pandemic, Africa managed to avoid the worst of the coronavirus but it has since spread there as well, reaching almost 1.4 million confirmed cases of COVID in across the continent. 33,000 deaths as well across the continent. South Africa has 653,000 of the 1.4 million cases, making almost half of the total cases in Africa. Egypt is, has the second most cases in Africa at 101,000. Aside from coronavirus, Nigeria has had two major explosions in the last week, killing 25 people in the first and injuring 30 in the second. In Asia this week, North Korea shot and burned a man from South Korea who was allegedly trying to defect to North Korea even though his family denies those allegations. Kim Jong-un, in a rare move, publicly apologized for the incident, saying it should have never happened. In other news, the journalist who reported the outbreak in Wuhan, China in February and went missing has been confirmed to be under state supervision this week. Also in China, it was just released that the reported number of detention facilities is actually much higher than previously thought. Millions of people are allegedly incarcerated in those facilities. This week, the United States has had some pretty major news throughout its justice system. Ruth Bader Ginsburg died earlier this week, leaving a Supreme Court vacancy which Democrats and Republicans will now spend the next few months arguing about. Breonna Taylor's murder's court case happened, and they basically went free, only being charged for the shots that damaged anything in the house. This case has sparked further riots across the country, TikTok continues to fight its ban and is currently still not exactly sure how to get around it. Don't worry, the app is likely in no long-term danger as its popularity means that some form of deal will likely be reached either with the government or a private company based in the US. In gaming this week, we had a ton of things happen. First of all, the PlayStation 5 pre-orders were surprisingly dropped and people scrambled to get a pre-order in. Xbox planned out their pre-orders but have still made huge mistakes in naming their consoles. The Xbox One X, one of last generation's consoles, actually had a massive increase in sales, almost 800% on Amazon on the day of pre-orders. Sorry kids, but looks like you might not get the right console this Christmas. In other gaming news, Microsoft made a huge $7.5 billion deal with ZeniMax, the parent company of Bethesda. This deal is major and means that titles such as Elder Scrolls and Fallout will be debuting on Xbox Game Pass before going to any other platform. Microsoft seems to be trying to acquire other game studios as well, likely to boost sales of their next-gen consoles. Amazon has also finally released their cloud-based gaming service called Luna. This is a major attempt for them to break into the gaming market as cloud gaming becomes the next big thing. To end this week's episode of Minecraft News Network, I'll end with another good story. Due to the coronavirus across the world, many species of animals are taking back their habitats. In China, Ferry traffic has been reduced in Hong Kong, allowing a rare pink dolphin to return to that area. Fish have also re-entered the usually polluted waters of Venice, as they have cleaned up, 
and dingoes have made their way into some Australian cities. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a completely new type of video for me and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe because I will definitely be putting out more of these episodes in the future. Also, in the comment section down below, tell me what you guys think I should change if you guys would like me to talk more in depth about articles or if you think I should just stick to headlines but tell more of them. Just let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.